Hi everyone, I am Susan Jacob and in this video I am going to show you my technique of endoilluminator assisted DMEC or EDMEC and endoilluminator assisted PDEC or EPDEC. And you can see that this is the view of the DMEC graph once it's seen under the microscope and this is how it looks like when the endoilluminator light is also added. But when you put off the microscope light and use just the endoilluminator light, the oblique light from an angle gives very good illumination and three dimensional depth perception. The comprehension uh, by the surgeon of the graft orientation and the graft dynamics within the anterior chamber is much better and the direction of the graft can be easily made out. The unfolding of the graft can also be carried out with just uh, the endoilluminator light alone and this gives uh, a very good uh, clarity uh, to the surgeon as you can see here as opposed to the microscope light where it is very difficult to make out whether the graft is facing upwards or downwards. The entire surgery from the point of insertion of the graft up to the flotation of the graft can be carried out in this manner using just the endoilluminator light alone. This is the standard vitreoretinal light pipe that is used by vitreoretinal surgeons. EDMEC has advantages in that it provides better visualization even if the dye fades. It provides a good visualization even through hazy cornea. The entire extent of the graft can be seen at the same time as opposed to the slit lamp where only part of the graft can be seen. You get better three-dimensional depth perception because of the oblique angle of the light. It helps in easily confirming the correct orientation of the graft and also helps uh, giving illumination to the entire graft during graft unrolling and positioning. There is better surgeon comprehension of graft dynamics, morphology, orientation and positioning which all lead to easier and faster surgery. It thereby also decreases graft damage due to prolonged surgery, excessive fluidics and unnecessary manipulation. When the same technique is translated to PDEC surgery, we call it as EPDEC or endoilluminator assisted PDEC. And you can see here again the visualization is improved as compared to a very poor understanding of the graft with the microscope light alone. Uh, the unfolding of the graft can be done under just the uh, endoilluminator light alone and uh, it makes as I said surgery much easier. I hope you enjoyed and that this video was useful.